So what is up vapers in this video today let's talk about this two mode okay I received this product by from vape sourcing uh, vape sourcing website they selling many types of uh, vape products you all can try to take a look search at this they, when you buy all the things uh, they give you this vape sourcing cut 5% off or this nah, 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 nah. so vape sourcing has sent me these two item the ice stick Kia versus the CB 60 ah Wismax this is the IC Kia very very small and this is the Wismax CB 60 CB in Malaysia that means is Chibai C H I B A I Chibai if you all don't know what is Chibai just try to google it Chibai so without wasting our time let's just take a look more closer about these two product guys come on come on turn the radio on it's Friday night and I won't be long gotta do my hair put my makeup yeah, and the Wismax CB60. Let's take a look at this first. So inside the packaging, you will receive the Kia small box mode. Oh, so small. And the E-Leaf GS Juni. It writes GS Juni. G5 or GS Juni. Atomizer. As usual, you will get the GS Juni quick started user manual like this. The ice stick Kia user manual. One USB cable, one coils, and two O-rings. So this CB60, you got one card. Oh, purple color is nice, guys. One box mode, one USB cable. Oh, this USB cable is long, guys. Three, one extra Fire X glass tube, one OCC coils, a little bit of the O-rings, the WISMAC user manual. This is what they call the Amor NS atomizer, WISMAC. Airflow is located underneath right here. See, the airflow. There's a hole right here. It's not big, it's small. This cap back on like this, twist it. And insert your flavor right here. Few drops at the coil, straight to the coil, and right here beside of the glass tube. These things does not have top cap, okay? So this is the top cap. There's no top refill cap. Just directly close your flavor like this. Put on the 510 drip tip. Just wait for a few minutes and it's done. Same as this atomizer. This is the Ice Stick Kia. Uh, E-Leaf GS Juni. Open it up like this. Oh, it's a very, very small coil head. So this you must opposite. Insert opposite ways like this. Insert the flavor right here. And then you just directly put this. Close it up. And wait for around 1 minute. Two sides of airflow. One and two. Adjustable. Same as this. You can adjust your airflow like this. The airflow is located underneath inside. Uh, like compare these two atomizer. This is bigger, this is smaller. Because this mode is small. Very, very small. So there you go. This is a two modes right here. One, two, three, four, five. It's a built-in battery box mode. What the? You see? It's got a digital clock. And there's a power button. This big power button. One, two, three, four, five. Holy father, see? minus button and plus button so currently now this is bypass one two three press three times you can change mode v w t c t c r clock bypass change to v w power mode so the maximum voltage is only 50 watt the lowest voltage for this box mode is one watt one two three and this is all the settings guys set there you can choose Call TC power cells. What is it? What is this? Super supra super power M time path clock preheat. Oh, it still got preheat setting. Time out. What is Inu? Inu on off exit info battery 4.20 volt version exit mode clock. Oh. This is a clock right here. Ah. So your power voltage will display right below and right at the middle right here is a clock. Just change back to VW mode. And <laughs> there's so many settings guys. This small box mode. It's good guys. And let's take a look about this WISMAC. Okay, so the chipset is located inside like this. You can't see it clearly. I turn off my light. Ah, there you go. So the maximum voltage for this box mode is 51.9 volt. Let's try to open up this atomizer and see either it can go higher or it detect the atomizer. Yup, it can go more higher. So it detects the, it's a protection. It detects this coil heads, this ohm, and the voltage will only go around 50 something. So the maximum voltage for this box mode is 60 watt. And when you insert this atomizer, it turns 
Okay, maximum 52.5 watt is good. It's a 1.54 ohm. Let's try to press three times. One, two, three. Inu off. Inu on. So the ENU it says this. Okay, while charging, if the temperature is over than the higher 45 degrees Celsius, is the plate where you can read yourself about this protection. Okay, ENU. You can set the Inu on and off. You press these two buttons together. Key lock. You can't arrange the wattage. You press two button again. Key unlock. And you press the fire button and the plus button. There's a blinking at the M right here. Press the fire button and the minus button. Cells on. Cells off. Press five times. One, two, three, four, five. When this thing turns off, you press these two button. It flips the screen. Alright. Flip the screen. One, two, three, four, five. There. Flip screen. One, two, three, four, five. Switch off. You press these two button. It flip back the screen. There you go. So this box mode, there's no temperature control or anything, doesn't have. But these things, it have a temperature control and it's small, it's cute, and the screen is nice. Nah, you, uh, you can compare these two devices. It's a starter kit, came with the atomizer together. 60 watt, 50 watt. Alright, I love this power button. I stick key, yeah. All this setting. So many things to set. And another thing is, this thing is so light. This is this thing is more heavier. This thing is very very light. I've searched for the price for these two devices. Ah. They're selling at vapesourcing.com. Ah. Elif Ice Tea Kia is selling for 48.8 USD at vapesourcing website. And for the Wismax CB, ah, the price at vapesourcing is 46.4 USD. It's just different between two dollars. Ah, okay, these two devices. So it depends on you all guys 60 watt, 50 watt This is more powerful, this is less powerful This atomizer is smaller, this atomizer is bigger This is more setting, this is less setting This is more smaller, more cute This is more also cute, more bigger So let's try I'm hitting on 30 watt with this atomizer let's go. So fast Oh I close the airflow So these things has no delay, ah. this wrist mag, there is no delay. It's very fast and about this Elif Kia, let's just try. Ah. Let's just try not so high. We're gonna heat up around 15 watt. I love the chipset, you know. So nice, you know, the color screen chipset. Good. Let's try to pump down the wattage for this box mode because the coil head is so small so we better not using that high wattage Let's just try it average 15 watt, 15 watt This thing has no delay This got a delay a bit, half second but the flavoring is good The OCC coil, the coil head, the flavoring is good this flavoring is good. This flavoring is also good, but it's more faster. So if you want to compare these two box mode, I am don't know really don't know which one you should pick. It depends on yourself, guys. This flavor is more greater than this tank. Both also 510 drip tip. This atomizer is more smaller. This is more bigger atomizer. But if you don't care about the atomizer, because some other country, uh, they just buy the mode. The atomizer, if you've got the sub ohm coil haze, got the coil haze, coil haze at Malaysia, they don't want the coil haze, coil haze atomizer. They just want the RTA, RDA. So if you don't care about the atomizer, you just depends on mode. This is 60 watt, this is 50 watt. This chipset is nice. This chipset is mm, okay also, not bad. 60 watt, 50 watt. The price is just different between uh, $2. So remember, please do get try to find this product at Vape Sourcing website. That's all that I'm gonna tell you in this videos, guys. I'll see you all at my next videos. Arigato. Come, Samida. Come on, come on, turn the radio.